man, it is just so good to see. Likewise, man, it's been so long. It's just been such a crazy couple months, man. Everything's just been taking off. Such is the life of two Hollywood actors. I got more scripts and hours of sleep lately. More you know? work than I know what to do with, man. Yeah. So uh, what have you been working on? So we just wrapped an independent film. We actually had the chance to work hands-on with the uh, original producer from Goodfellas. Oh, Martin Scorsese. Yeah, Marty Boy. Yeah, he's a stickler. But, you know, once you're in with M-Bone, he's a, he's a really good guy. So man. you got to work with him directly? It's funny how it happens in Hollywood. I'm in a bar. McConaughey's agent comes up. I'm signing an NDA. I can't really say much. Yeah. I'm on set the next week with, uh, with the production assistants. So. Oh, so you did PA work? Yeah. Yeah, so my role for that, I was in charge of coffees, granola bars. I mean, it was just truly a life-changing project to, to be a part of. You know? It's beautiful, man. You're just you're manifesting your destiny. It's what's happening. Hollywood actors, man. Funny you say that. With pilot season just ending, I was working hands-on with the director from the original Jurassic Park. Steven Spielberg. Wow. Yeah, dude, Bergie's a good dude, man. He's like really a guy's guy, man. Once you get to know him and like you get on like the inner circle, so you got to work hands-on with Steven Spielberg. Kind of, yeah. I was the um, I was the server. Oh. at the restaurant that they came to eat at. So you served them their food. Yeah, I mean, he loved my performance, you know, as a server. Ah. It's amazing, man. Wow. Yeah. You know, I just got the call back for Q's new film. Q? Mm. QT, Quentin Tarantino. So what did you do exactly, like, with him? I was the visionary for the set management of the lavatories. Like, like the bathrooms? Yeah. Our job was to bring the, the porta potties to set. Big, big blue ones? Yeah, Andy Gums. Yep, big blue ones. Every day. Where did you train for a role like that? Every role comes from up here, and it's the emotion that you exude onto each project that, that can't be taught on the screen with the emotions that they project. I mean, that's the art that we've we've grown to love. It's just been such an eye-opening experience being able to transfer and clean their shit to and from set every day. There's so much power in that line of things. It's truly beautiful. Manifest. That's incredible, man. You're just blessed. So blessed. So have you been like getting any like actual work where you're like, you know, on screen? I'm working right now. So beautifully said. One of the beautiful things our duty as actors is to take in the emotions wow. that we're given in everyday situations, make them our own and, and create this character who we can portray the emotions on screen for the audience to digest. What about you? You getting any real work? Well, I was put on a veil. So my manager said I needed vocal rest. Right. I've really just been trying to do kind of what you alluded to. Just really like receive my environment. And I feel like opening myself yeah. up, I'll be able to figure out like who is this character, right? Like what are his motivations? Yeah. What, what are his goals? What, what character? The role I was born to play. Wow. Hey, uh, but the card was declined, and the, I don't know whose card is, the 98 Civic over there, the white one, that's getting towed, so. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. When you're at the top, everyone's trying to tear you down, you know? Shit. <clears throat> you spot me? 